Well, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to fix the very common exception in the Selenium and that exception is basically related to the session not created. So let's begin. First, we will try to reproduce that exception and then we will see some details about that particular exception and eventually we will fix that problem. So in our previous sessions, we, ex we created this particular script and a script is absolutely fine and it was working fine previously we have properly set up our chrome driver here we have initiated the chrome driver class here and we are getting this particular url so we are actually opening this url right it was working fine previously let me run this code again and this time it will not work and you will see that a chrome browser will open but it will suddenly disappear or closed but it will not create any session with the chrome driver okay so let me run this one and see what happens so you saw that it it tried to create a session but it didn't happen and we got something here in the console so we got this exception exception the main thread open dot org selenium dot selenium session not created exception let's read this more could not start a new session the source code is 500 and session not created this version of chrome driver only supports chrome version 100 so what this means this means that the driver i'm using right now here which i provided the, the path of that exe only supports up to chrome version 100 now there's a possibility that my current chrome is not at version 100 so let me open the browser and see what is my current version here so open your browser then you need to click on these three dots go to help go to about chrome and click on this one so you can see that my Chrome is up to date and the current version is 103. So this means that I need a driver which can run this version of the browser. So always remember, so this is a tip for you guys as automation engineer that whenever you are working on any of your automation scripts, either you can close the updates or make sure that you should be keep you know updating both your drivers with respect to your chrome or your particular browser so here is 103 so let me go here and let me type download chrome driver and let me search it for here so this is the website so let me click on this one and it will take to this chrome driver dot chromium dot org slash downloads and here we'll find the compatible driver with 103 in this tutorial i will also suggest to you that you should not keep updating again and again because your browser is getting updated every time so i would recommend you to stop auto updates on your site on your browser so first we will uh, see here and i got something here let me refresh this one and see yeah so here if you are using chrome version 103 please download this one so we already saw that let me click this one again here we click on about here and we see that is 103 right so if we are using chrome version 103 please download this one so let me click on this one and i'm using windows so i will be going with this one and let me open this one here and here is being downloaded let me extract it here so file is extracted i'm just copying this file from here okay and i'm just replacing the previous driver file so let me go to my this particular script and let me see where exactly my driver exists so it's D Selenium Tutorials, Chrome Driver, and this one. So let me go here and let me go to Selenium D Tutorials and yeah here and this one. So let me replace 
this file here so now I have a updated Chrome driver so now let me save this one and let me clear this from here and try to run this again and see what happens so let me run this one now it will open the browser successfully and it successfully opened the website so that's how you can fix this problem now let's come towards the actual solution the tip is that we should stop our auto updates because we should not go again and again and you know make always compatible your driver with your browser because if your browser is on auto updates so it will keep updating and hence you need to update your drivers as well this is not the only problem here the other problem here is that sometimes your skips might not work due to this incompatibility as well okay so let's see how we can uh, you know turn off the auto updates on the chrome and then we will see how you can do it on the major browsers such as firefox now what you need to do is that you need to go here and you need to type run okay and it will open this run prompt here and here on the run prompt what you need to do is that you need to type ms config ms config config and press enter and you will see that we have a multiple options here and we need to go to the services tab here and under services tab we need to find the update services from the google and you will find those services here so google chrome elevation service no yeah so this one so we need to stop these update services you need to unselect this one or select this one and you need to stop them here okay because if you don't stop it will keep updating and you will face this problem so this is the easiest way to disable the update from your browsers now seeing that how we can do it on the firefox so it's pretty easier in the firefox here so let me open the firefox browser here and we need to go to the settings here and under the settings here we need to find the update section here so either you can type here update. so here's the firefox updates and here it says automatically install updates recommended we just need to uncheck this one okay we don't need to update right and we can also see what is the history of updates use a background service to install update also uncheck this one so when you uncheck this one it will not automatically update right now these were checked and you can see it was updated automatically here for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe to our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial